In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a broken spell to heal for tens of millions of health in a battleground in seconds, defying entire raids with your super healing powers. So here's how to heal faster than literally anyone has ever healed in a battleground. Number one, be a Mistweaver monk. Number two, have the talent Overflowing Mists. Uh, that's it kind of. Though, as we'll see, actually using this in a battleground effectively for more than a few seconds is a lot more complicated. Basically what happens with Overflowing Mists is that when you cast Enveloping Mist, it heals 2% of the target's health points when they are attacked by melee players. Normally in PvP combat, this is fairly well balanced, until you consider the epic raid bosses and other powerful NPCs you find in battlegrounds. These bosses have health pools in the hundreds of millions, and so 2% can be a vast amount of health. Now, the official forums are filled with complaints from teams you're about to claim a victory by downing an epic raid boss, only to see a monk rush in, use overflowing mists in the nick of time, and snatch victory away from the team that was on top. This method is one of many exploits in World of Warcraft, most of which are too powerful to publish on YouTube. For those that have an interest and a passion for exploits, the amazing one-click method where you can level from 1 to 70 by pressing one button is still active on my Patreon. Pitch over, let's get back to the subject of this video. So, how do we use the Overflowing Mists exploit without being instantly obliterated by the Horde team? Let me show you how here in Alterac Valley. First, jump up on one of the three flag posts scattered around the Dunbaldar fortress, as I'm showing here. Now, kill your monk. The best way to do this is with a cooking fire. You can get a cooking fire from any cooking trainer simply by obtaining level 1 cooking. Drink some pinch whistle nitro fuel. This can be obtained from the inns in Storm Shield or War Spear, respectively, in uninstanced Astran. Two shots of Pinch Whistle fuel will set fire to you and kill your character. Now, run back in ghost form and jump up the flag post again. Do not resurrect. The reason being that while dead, no one can kill you. You want the Horde to engage Vandar before you resurrect. When the first Horde enter the fortress, they often wait for greater numbers to arrive. So, here's an amazing example of a battle that went right down to the wire that illustrates just how powerful this technique is. The Horde enter and begin to take down Vandar Storpike, the Alliance boss. At the same time, at the other end of the battleground, the Alliance begin to engage the Horde boss, Drek Thar. My incredible overpowering mist talent is healing Vandar, whose commanders have been killed at this stage, for 2% of his health, which is still a whopping 400,000 HP per tick. Even that isn't quite enough to stop an unusually effective Horde. And worse, one of the Horde players notices me on top of the flag and tries to put me out of action. My monk's health goes down almost to zero and Vander is barely alive also. But I've just bought the Alliance enough time to finish off Drek Thar and we win with only seconds to spare. The stats show 38 million healing for what was literally only 30 seconds of play. Note that I have very unimpressive gear, as I don't normally play Mistweaver even as Nault. Nor am I doing anything terribly clever. The most effective way generally to use Overflowing Mist is to hardcast Enveloping Mist. There are obviously more efficient ways using Instant Cast, with Enveloping Mist, using Soothing Mist and or Life Cocoon and or the Chiji Talents. But generally speaking, you don't want to do this despite the fact that these abilities significantly boost healing. The reason being that hardcasting enveloping mist has no significant visual effect. This means the enemy generally don't notice you doing it, which is the most important thing here. Powerful as this ability is, Alterac Valley isn't the best place to use it. In Eshran we can use a fun trick to get into a completely inaccessible location. Go into the Molten Quarry of Ashran and look for this dead Goron. When you hover over it, the Goron will be clickable. 
when you click on it, you'll receive an ability that allows you to essentially double jump, regardless of your class. With practice, you can get almost anywhere out of bounds in Ashram. It can be used to devastating effect. This is a very powerful secret in itself. The very best place I could find within Storm Shield's fortress was on the stockade around the main castle here. This location is the best as it offers line of sight protection from Horde on the bridge and those in the shadow of the gate, which is generally where the vast majority of Horde will be. However, it does generally allow you line of sight as to where the Alliance boss, Grand Marshal Tremblade, runs in and fights. To engage you, the Horde have to run in, turn around and ignore Tremblade and the vast majority of Alliance players and attack you directly, and that doesn't usually happen. Tremblade is a bit weaker than Vandar, but she can be persistently healed by my character with no gear for 400,000 health a tick, which will keep her alive against all but the most committed enemy teams. It is not just the raid bosses that can be healed this way. The mini-boss Riley can also be healed using the same basic method. Using the Goron buff, it is quite possible to heal her while out of line of sight of the Horde on top of her tower. Because she's a mini-boss, her health pool is rather lower than that of Tremblade, but you can still get 180k ticks from Overflying Mist. Don't bother trying this with Korlok the Yoga, by the way, it's impossible. He has a habit of jumping away from you into the air and landing in an enormous number of Horde players, then dying almost instantly. One thing that will help in all these battlegrounds is the Shard of Archstone toy, which you can obtain from a rare in Kunlai Summit in Pandaria. This item hides your nameplates inside a statue, so the Horde will just generally assume it is a piece of scenery and ignore you completely, usually allowing you to cast at least one heal before you are attacked. It is possible to use this glitch in Isle of Conquest on the Alliance boss Halford Wormbane. However, there is no obvious way to hide your monk from the Horde here. The best location I could find was this statue in this alcove, which offers some protection from line of sight attacks. However, even here, you won't last long before someone targets you. As you can see, I'm healing the boss Halford Wormbane for 880,000 per tick of overflowing mist. Now, potentially, you could take this concept even further and maybe even use it in player versus environment, such as mythics or raids, perhaps by getting a tank to stack stamina. As always, I've put some secret microtext in this video, which contains some interesting Easter eggs, so you might want to watch it through again.